goddamn button. Press the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. Alright. Yo, 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 it's Games of Graphics. We are back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we're going to be doing an updated video on how to install add-on pads. Alright. Add-on pads is created by Method. Shout out to the creator. When you get down to this page, scroll down, read the description. After reading the description, come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. Now we are going to have some requirements in order for add-on pads to work. We are going to need scriptbook V, scriptbook V.net, and native UI. We will not be installing these requirements, although I will leave links to videos in the description showing you how to install the requirements if you don't have them already. So once you have these, um, once you have your requirements installed and your add-on pads downloaded, there will be another link in the description that will lead you to a add-on pad. Okay, we're going to be using this add-on pad, for example, on how to install add-on pads. This will be Kai Sinat. This one is created by Chunky, your boy, and Butcher. Shout out to the creators. When you get down to this page, you can feel free to read the description as well. Let's you know more about the character and what type of clothing it comes with. And after you're done reading that, come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. All right. Now, as of a requirement for add-on pads in Kai Sinat, we are going to need Open4 as well. I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install Open4 if you don't have that already as well, all right? So make sure that you have your requirements installed and once you have your add-on pads and Kai Sinat downloaded. So it looks something like this on the left-hand side. I have two downloads, which is add-on pads, and then I have the Kai Sinat add-on pad on the right. I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go. Um, at this point, you're gonna need a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods all in lowercase. After that's created, open up that mods folder and then create a new folder and name it update. Then create a new folder after you open up the update, create a new folder and name it x64. Then open it up and create a new folder and name it DLC packs, then open it up. And we're gonna leave this right here. Let's navigate back over to our downloads where we had our add-on pads folder. Open that up. Inside there, we are going to have our uh, DLC packs folder right here we wanna open up. And we're going to have our DLC pack of add-on pads right here, okay? So we're gonna take this DLC pack of add-on pads and we're gonna drag and drop that over here to our DLC packs. All right, once that is dragged and dropped, we are all good to go. Let's navigate back this way. All right, and now we want to go inside the scripts folder. Well, actually, before we go in the scripts folder, let's go over and select these two right here. All right, just highlight these two. Then we want to go back to our GTA 5 directory. Just press the back arrow until you get back to your GTA 5 directory. And we want to take these two right here, drag and drop these right here into our GTA 5 directory. I already have it, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and replace that anyway. Now, once that is dropped, we want to open up our scripts folder. If you already have your requirements installed, you should have a scripts folder by now. So open up the scripts folder. Then we want to go back over here to our add on pads folder and open up the scripts folder. And inside there is going to be one file. We want to take this one right here and we're going to drag and drop this pad selector .dll over here to our scripts folder. All right. Now. Now that that has been dragged and dropped, we have to add our um, add-on pads folder to the DLC list. All right. So what I like to do is go back over into our DLC packs for our add-on pads folder. And we're going to leave this open right here. Now let's go ahead and open up open four. Now that we have our open four opened up, make sure that you have your edit mode turned on. This is a little button right here at the top. When I navigate on the side to update, then go to update.rpf. It's going to be a red banner that pops up. It's going to say copy to mods folder, select copy to mods folder. Then select common data. Scroll down, select DLC list XML. Select edit, right click, select edit. Then you want to scroll the way down to the bottom. You want to select this line right here and we're going to copy the last line. Then we'll select the cursor behind that line, press enter, open up a new line and paste that same line that we just copied. 
I'm gonna come back over here to the add-on pairs DLC pack and we're just gonna copy the name. Then go back down here to our text editor and paste that name over the name inside of that item line. Now we should have a new item DLC pack line that says add on pads in the middle. Once you have that, go ahead and select save. File, close our archives. All right, at this point, let's go back to our downloads, press the back arrow, press the back arrow again. Now let's go ahead and open up the Kai Sinat folder. Inside the Kai Sinat folder, going to have some screenshots in another folder. Let's go ahead and open up this folder right here that says place in add-on pad folder. And now that we have that opened up, we're gonna have these three files to install, all right? So let's navigate over to open four. And from this point, we wanna go into our mods folder, go to update, x64, DLC packs, add-on pads, dlc.rpf, pids.rpf and by default it automatically comes with uh, two add-on pids it comes with a uh, superman and Vito from uh, the mafia game you can leave those in there or delete them for right now we're just going to leave them there now let's go back over to our kai Sinat folder that we had open and we're going to take these three um, items that i have highlighted all right we're going to take these three and we're going to drag and drop all three over here to open for all right so now you should see the three files for Kai Sinat over here in open four all right so from this point what we want to do is go back to our GTA 5 uh, directory we could do that simply by selecting file in open four and then select close all archives then right here you have your add on pids editor um, you can't really run it from open four right here because you're going to need to run it um, as administrator. So you're going to need to go ahead and bring back up your GTA 5 directory in your uh, Internet Explorer window. And what you want to do is scroll down and select add on pads editor, right click with the mouse, select run as administrator and select yes. Add on pads editor will open up. Now, if you already had add-on pads installed, like I had, it's going to be a list. But if this is your first time, you're only going to have two names in here, which will be Superman and Vito. All right. So from this point, what uh, we want to do is go ahead and just copy the pad, the add-on pads name. Just copy that name. It's just Kai. Then we want to go back into our add-on pads editor. Select this little uh, arrow. That's a drop-down menu. And then we want to select new pad. And then we want to paste the pad's name right here in model name. Make sure you have the exact name of the add-on pad right here in model name. Then go to pad type, and we're gonna select male, since Kai Sinai is a male, and is streamed. We wanna select that, and we wanna select true, okay? Um, the difference between streamed and non-streamed, the streamed pads come with a folder. The non-streamed pads do not. Okay, it's simple explanation. All right, so is streamed, we're gonna have it on true and then select add ped at the end. All right, select rebuild. Now we can close out of the add-on pads editor. We have add-on pads successfully installed along with Kai Sinat. So we're gonna minimize every windows that we have open and run the game. Right, once you spawn into the game, what you want to do is press L on the keyboard. All right, once you press L on the keyboard, it's going to open up the pet selector menu in the top left of the screen. Select add on pads, and you will have the full list of add on pads that you have installed. I'm going to go scroll down to the bottom and select Kai for Kai Sinat. And as soon as you select um, your pad, there we go. As soon as you select your pad, you should instantly see your pad spawn in the game. Okay, so we have Kai Sinat right here. And this is one of his outfits. If you had read the download page, he also has um, some different outfits as well. So that's pretty much it on how to install add-on pads. Now, there's one thing if um, you are installing a lot of add-on pads, you definitely want to install a game config. Okay, I'll leave that link down in the description as well. 
but we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial right here this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 yo this game's graphics me and kai's not you out of here until next time yo I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.